Hello, this is a progress report on Hope's Hacks Housing Affordability with 123 Vote Evolved Prototype. Um, the concept behind this little project is to reformat voting using time value accounting. So that's a little complicated and to understand it, it's probably best just to dive right in. Uh, let's start with this here. Um, one, consider decide to act format voting. One, your vote power equals your personal time spent deciding on this vote. Two, your economic power equals your personal time spent voting can be later spent as money by you if your voted proposal wins public approval. Three, your political power equals your personalized public vote is statistically matched for agreement with the personalized public votes of elected officials or any leaders you designate for sharing and comparing. <clears throat> you can easily find which politicians vote with you and which vote against you. Why not send you and your elected official a reminder of your voting choices and her percent agreement with or against you one month after the next election, and give your politicians a chance to represent you better with a revote. Why not schedule a voting guide reminder one week before your elected official is next up for voting for or against, reminding you of her and your percent agreement and alternative voting options. So if I click on this one, which 43% of people click it on, um, I will get statistics, vote for free market public voting statistics. I'll get to see how my elected officials voted on various things convenient and easily, including this one. Um, so I could see if the, my elected, my personally elected officials, I need to fill out their email and some other stuff is the plan. Uh, the important thing, is that this <clears throat> scheduled voting guide reminder one week before the elected official is up for voting for or against um, means that one week before the next election, I'm going to get some sort of statistical um, list of which politician to vote for ranked by how well their percent agreement is with mine on this and other votes. So that's how we can hold elected officials accountable. Let's see what else we have, how this works in theory. Now, let's see how this works in practice. Two, decide on a matter of principle in practice. Status quo pricing is personalized for me. So we're going to take this regular price and see how it affects you in time value accounting. Um, this is the default if no choice, if no vote. If you don't vote, you get the status quo. So we're going to talk about the status quo if you click on this link. Um, stats of interest to me. Uh, there are time saved stats and averages saved by this bridge here um, or just for me. Uh, so this is actually about a bridge, I guess. Uh, my cost for time per hour uh, for using the bridge. Uh, there's no profit guarantee for using the bridge. Why I vote to buy or not buy, um, plus average reasons. So why people vote to cross this bridge or not cross this bridge. 25% um, of the people vote by clicking here to find out more about status quo pricing. Or alternative price and profits distribution model. That's a 5 to 15 minute read plus vote. There was no time required for the default choice, but it probably does take 15 minutes. That should be mentioned here. Um, vote. Um, 5 to, no, let's say 15 minutes. No, it's 5 to 15 again, actually. 
five, two. I've been I've been on this vote. It's not linked yet. I need to still link it, but um, I don't have time to show it off anyways, actually. Um, five to 15 minutes. Oh, I need to fix that. Well, we'll do it later. I'm sure you don't care. Um, alternative price and profits distribution model. So in this one, which I will talk about in another video, we crowdsource a new statistic. Um, we create time save stats for alternative pricing models and we choose um, a bridge or a price model based on a person's individualized dollar per hour conversion rate. Um, this guarantees a profit and we talk about offering price guarantees in terms of time saved for crossing the bridge. If it's slow, we pay less. Um, and why I vote or why I drive on the bridge, vote to buy or whatever. This is kind of used for housing affordability or bridges or groceries. I, I repurpose this so it's it needs to be reworded a little bit. Um, but we have a third option um, and that's a 15 to 30 minute um, public attention vote on specific details of proposed pricing, pricing and profits distribution plan. Now this is a lovely interactive voting experience that, I've that I'm going to do another video on for sure. Um, 13% of the people can vote for different options. I need to work on that. Um, so it still needs some work, but it gives you measurement agreement on specific action plans. Um, and I'm going to talk about that real quick just right now. Just because it's so visually exciting in a video. Um, this is the carbon footprint carbon hours price. Now I don't expect you to understand this because it's a complicated vote. Um, this is this is like voting. It's you have to read a description, um, but what you can do when you're here is you can put in your dollar per hour. Say you make uh, twenty-five dollars per hour, um, and all the numbers update. Um, and let's see, what's, what's this here? Your time savings, uh, how much time you save by taking the bridge is two hours. Uh, let's say I only save one hour by taking the bridge. Okay, and my cost, right? What is your current line weight for the bridge? Oh, right. Um, so let's say I only actually wait half an hour for my typical bridge, 0.5 hours. Okay. And what this does is it calculates, uh, several things for me. Uh, so this is standard pricing, so the toll gate pricing at $5. Uh, actually, I think let's use Golden Gate Bridge. I think they're $6 right now. Okay. Right. Yeah, okay. Um, so your price is six dollars. And what we have here is how much you profit. Um, now that's based on what? Your final price is six dollars for the ticket. Um, your hours saved is one hour. Um, from taking the bridge. Oh, I see. Um, let's see what this is. This is uh, this is where it gets interesting. So, your hours saved by using the bridge one hours you wait for this toll gate. Uh, yes, hours you have work to pay the toll. Oh, now this is interesting. That's twenty four. So if I change my dollar per hour rate, say for instance I make $50 an hour, um, what happens here? See, my profit goes up. Look at that. Um, because I only have to work 12 hours. You must work to negative. No, that can't be right. Hmm. This needs work. Sorry. 
Uh, I need funding and support. Um, this one works a little better. Wait. This one works a little better. A lot better, actually. Um, this is a, a simple calculator. Uh, how much your dollar per hour rate is. Um, vote by changing lanes. So in this scenario, um, we just if we want people to vote and choose their pricing, um, we can vote by changing lanes. And that's kind of interesting, don't you think? Um, we don't have to have a vote in an election booth every four years. We can vote online and compare immediately. We can vote by changing lanes. So these are our lanes. Uh, Tollgate 1, price is $6. Tollgate 2, it's faster. Uh, price is $30. Uh, toll gate three, fastest line, one hundred and eighty dollars. Toll gate four, the very fast line. No wait, fast slow. Here, what does this even mean? Oh, we're charging fifty hours. Um, one hundred and fifty dollars. Um, four hundred and eighty. Toll gate five, fast slow. We charge one hour. We charge two hours. Our profits are different. Um, for each of these booths. So, so whatever my price and dollar rate is, I can vote to use the toll gate and the lane that uh, makes me the most money, apparently. They each charge different amounts. One charges more dollars. This is $30. This is 180 this is half an hour of your time. This is one hour of your time. This is two hours of your time. Uh, down here, you can customize it. So let's say we want six. So the standard price, and I guess, is six dollars for Golden Gate Bridge with zero hours of your time. And you make five hundred and ninety-two dollars profit because you earn three hundred dollars an hour, and you profit an hour, uh, you save two hours, and you waited in line one hour, um, and your price for using the bridge was six dollars, so you made two hundred and ninety-four if you use this toll bridge. If you use this toll gate, you make five hundred and ten dollars. If you use this toll gate, you make four eighteen. This toll gate will make you four hundred forty-eight dollars because these are pricing in hours so it all changes so that's how you vote directly with your actions using one two three vote to act evolved prototype um uh if you think this is interesting and want to see more work done on it vote for this option thank you